Craig here and I wanted to create a quick video and show you an alternative to Uber Suggest. Now the reason for this video is I was asked today why I don't use Uber Suggest anymore because I was in WA chat and I mentioned to a friend that I no longer use Uber Suggest. Now the program I use I much prefer it and I'm going to show you like a comparison between the two of them. Now Uber Suggest if you've never heard of it before it's ubersuggest.org. And basically you come here and you enter in a keyword phrase and you select English USA that would be like EnglishGoogle.com and we want to go off the web results for the Google Instant uh, database and then you click suggest and then it will go and return a whole bunch of keyword phrases that contain build a website from the Google Instant database and what it's done it's returned 318 suggestions and as I scroll over them rather fast here, you can see that we have build a website and then it goes through the alphabet, very similar to the alphabet soup method that they teach at Wealthy Affiliate. Now you can dig it a little deeper, like we have build a website Apple. If we click on it, you'll see that build a website Apple software, Apple computer, etc. And sometimes this is good, but sometimes you you hit like a point where it doesn't return anything. So that is Uber Suggest. Again, it returned 318, but again, you can dig deeper by clicking on all of these. And if you want to export them, you simply click select all keywords and get, and then you can copy them all and do what you like. Now this is the keyword tool that I like to use. And the way this works is, well, first of all, we have this idea generator here. And we can enter in a singular word, a plural word, a region, and a year. So I've entered in website, website, Ottawa, 2012. And then we have a whole bunch of different phrases here. So like we have some how-tos under how, and then questions. Does a website something? And whenever you see this star or the asterisk, what this tool is going to do, it's going to place an A there, collect everything the instant tool returns place a B there etc or we can go a deep scan where it goes AA and then AB and AC so it goes very deep into the Google Instant database and it goes through a whole variety of different like these are just ideas so for example we have star for websites and anyway it's got a whole bunch of them here and you can actually download this this software for free you can use the trial version however the trial version it does a simple search from a to h now what i did was i entered in the asterisk and then build a website and then build the website and asterisk so very much like the uber suggest where i entered in build a website but with this one we are putting the wildcard at the front and at the back and we are going to do a deep search now I already performed the search and it takes uh, 10 minutes per deep scan and the reason for this is it performs uh, 700 plus queries per keyword phrase and it pauses etc because it doesn't want you to get your IP banned by Google for doing too many queries within a certain period of time. Now it returned a, around uh, 2500 search phrases and what I did was I clicked add to master list and then I clicked clean up and it removes all of the duplicates. So then we were left with 1920 keyword phrases. And I'm going to quickly just scroll over these. And as you can see, there's tons of tons of phrases in here and they're long, long tail keyword phrases. Now the important thing to remember is for a keyword phrase to be added to the Google Instant Database, it has to be searched. Now you could go and put like this phrase into a keyword tool, like the Google Instant Keyword Tool, how much to build a custom website. And Google Keyword Tool is probably gonna say it doesn't get searched. Well, believe it or not, some people do search this phrase. Now, just because the Google Keyword Tool says uh, it gets zero searches, it's not always true. Now, before I end this video, this tool has a bunch of other features it's it's a tremendous tool and we could even get more searches because we could start using the numbers in here too 
But one thing I want to show you is one thing that I do is I select all. I'm going to copy all of these keyword phrases. That's like 1900 keyword phrases. And we're going to come over to the Google AdWords keyword tool. And I'm going to press refresh because I'm probably timed out here. So what I'm using here now is the Google AdWords free keyword tool. But what I did was I signed into my Gmail account and I clicked sign up for Google AdWords. Now I never entered any credit card details or anything. I just entered in my name and email address and I clicked sign up. And doing so, it, it stops the, the capture image from appearing and it allows you to return more than 100 results at a time. Now, when you enter in, you know, hundreds of keyword phrases per search, you have to, sometimes it does return errors if you have a long keyword phrase or a strange character. So the first thing I normally do is I just paste in all my keyword phrases and I don't touch any of these options. I just hit search. So as you can see, it's telling us uh, one of the keywords is too long, but it is returning uh, 1,919 keyword phrases. However, we are on broad and broad is pathetic. Do not use broad when you're doing keyword research. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to check phrase and then uncheck broad. And because we are searching so many keyword phrases at once, you know, don't be clicking all over the place because you're probably going to, you know, crash Google AdWords and it will give you an error. So let's do this one step at a time. So now it's returning phrases. And because I live in Canada, it automatically, you know, puts location to Canada. Well, you know, I'm more interested in the US search volume. But to make matters easier, we're just going to delete Canada and do all locations. And we are going to check only show ideas closely related to my search term and press search and it's given us an error but i'm going to end this video here because it's late and i was actually doing this video for a friend but basically all i'd have to do is hit refresh and perform the search again but the great thing here is we are searching all of these keyword phrases and we can you know search it from highest to lowest and we can export all of our data but one thing to keep in mind is just because it's telling you it doesn't get any search volume, it does not mean it's not getting searched because how did Google come up with the keyword search phrase in the beginning if it's not being searched? It doesn't make any sense. Now, I've spoke with Anthony, the creator of this software, and he's allowed me to offer loyal customers of my website a special discount. So if you visit my affiliate link and it's the wise affiliate, dot com slash instant keyword you're going to notice that it'll have a special discount on there and it will tell you that this is for loyal customers of the wise affiliate dot com or a message similar to those lines and don't forget you can also download and play around with the free version but if you want to perform the deep searches you will have to purchase the premium product and with the special discount it's going to be under forty dollars and this is a one-time fee also on the web page, he has a video course, a free video course that I highly recommend you check out because it's going to show you how this keyword tool works and you know how to use the content that you're collecting, how to write your articles and not just stuff them full of keywords. Anthony, he knows his stuff and I highly recommend you check it out. That's thewiseaffiliate.com slash instant keyword.